In the dead of night, high above the Arctic Circle, a stealth aircraft glides silently through the sub-zero sky. Cloaked in radar-absorbent polymers, shaped to scatter radio waves, it is built for invisibility. To conventional systems, it's as if the jet doesn't exist. No echoes. No heat. No signature. But somewhere deep below, inside a remote bunker outfitted with superconducting equipment and cryogenic lines, a new kind of radar stirs. This system doesn't look like the spinning dishes we're used to. It hums softly, shielded from electromagnetic interference, surrounded by vacuum chambers and fiber optic cables. At its core is something far stranger than steel and circuitry, pairs of entangled photons, born from a process called spontaneous parametric down conversion. This is quantum radar. And for the first time, the aircraft above has left a trace. Traditional radar systems operate by emitting high-power radio waves and detecting their reflections. If those waves hit an object, an aircraft, for instance, they bounce back and are captured by a receiver. The time delay and angle of return tell us where the object is and how fast it's moving. But stealth aircraft are engineered to absorb or deflect these waves, sending little to nothing back. And they've gotten extremely good at it. The F-35, B-2 Spirit, and China's J-20 are all examples of platforms designed to slip through this kind of detection. Quantum radar, however, doesn't rely solely on reflected signals. Instead, it uses a fundamentally different strategy based on quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where two particles, like photons, become intrinsically linked. No matter how far apart they are, a change in one instantly affects the other. In practice, this means one entangled photon is transmitted into the environment, while its partner remains behind. Even if the returning photon is weak or distorted, its connection to the photon in the lab allows scientists to infer with extreme precision whether it bounced off an object, or was lost entirely. One specific implementation is known as quantum illumination. In this approach, the transmitted photon interacts with the environment, possibly reflecting off a target. Its entangled twin stays in a highly sensitive detector. When the returning signal arrives, buried in noise, disrupted by jamming, or partially lost, the system compares it with the stored entangled photon. Because of their shared quantum fingerprint, the system can detect correlations that no classical radar could identify. This makes quantum radar incredibly resistant to noise and deliberate electronic countermeasures. In conventional radar, jamming the signal, either by overwhelming it with noise or absorbing it entirely, often works. But in quantum radar, the signal and the key to understanding it are entangled. So even if the reflected signal is minuscule, the hidden correlation reveals the truth. There's another critical difference, quantum radars operate with much lower power emissions. Because of their reliance on photon level detection and correlation, they don't need to blast the sky with energy. This makes them nearly impossible to detect themselves, allowing a nation to observe airspace or orbital paths without announcing its presence. However, the technology isn't without challenges. Entangled photons are extremely fragile. Maintaining their coherence over long distances is hard. Any interaction with the environment, air molecules, heat, even light, can destroy the entanglement. This is why quantum radar systems require cryogenic cooling, often operating near absolute zero using superconducting nanowire single photon detectors. These detectors are sensitive enough to identify a single returning photon and still recognize its quantum signature. But they require pristine conditions, shielded enclosures, temperature stabilization, and ultra-low noise electronics.
The range of quantum radar, at least today, is limited compared to high-power classical radars. Current prototypes function best over tens of kilometers, not hundreds. But rapid advances in quantum optics and material science are steadily closing that gap. Researchers are experimenting with novel sources of entangled photons, using quantum dots, ultra-stable lasers, and even entangled microwave photons, to extend operational range and increase resolution. Governments are taking notice. China claims to have developed a working quantum radar prototype capable of detecting stealth aircraft up to 100 kilometers away. Canada, through its Quantum Technology Advancement Program, is investing in field-deployable models tailored for Arctic conditions. NATO and the European Union have classified quantum sensing as a strategic defense priority. The race is no longer about just building stealth, it's about who can see through it. And the implications are seismic. Quantum radar may force the world to rethink modern air defense. Hypersonic missiles, which travel too fast for current radar systems to track with high precision, could become visible. Satellites in low Earth orbit, long thought immune to ground-based surveillance once cloaked, may now leave detectable quantum trails. Even underwater detection, traditionally the realm of sonar, could be revolutionized through quantum acoustic sensing, built on similar principles. We're entering an age where the boundaries between physics and defense blur. Where the limits of observation are no longer set by power or frequency, but by the deepest laws of reality. If you're fascinated by how quantum mechanics is quietly transforming the battlefield and reshaping global surveillance, now is the time to dive deeper. Tap that like button and subscribe for more science-backed stories on the technologies shaping tomorrow's world. Because in this new age of sensors, the most powerful systems won't be the loudest, they'll be the ones you never see coming. And with quantum radar, the invisible, is finally becoming visible.